Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. And today I've taken some beads from my stash and some of the red, white, and blue glitter foam scatter from the Dollar Tree and I've made garland. This is really easy to do. It's like stringing popcorn for your tree. If you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, I have an idea and I'm not sure if it's going to work. So bear with me. Um, I got the idea from this foam scatter that I got at the Dollar Tree. And you can see they have two different sizes in here. I'm going to use the smaller size stars. I also have beads. These are bicone beads. They're pointy at one end. And these are round. And I'm going to do a bicone, round, bicone, round, bicone, and it's going to be probably five or six long, depending. I also have upholstery thread. This stuff is really strong. I have a sewing needle that's almost two inches long, which will go through that. And I have about a yard of thread. Um, here's a little tip that I didn't realize people don't know, but this is one of those tips that your grandparents probably used. If you take one end of your thread and stretch your arm all the way out and take the other end to your nose, that is about a yard. And it all depends on how tall you are, how long your arms are, but it's about a yard. Okay, I put a, a loop on the end of this for hanging. And I just made the loop and tied a little knot. And I'm going to start off with a bicone bead. And I'm going to put a drop of glue, hot glue. On the knot and push this bead down onto the glue and that way I know it's not going to slide off it's not going to go anywhere and that's almost the only time you're going to use glue on here except for the very end but once that dries that's going to be on there good okay I'm doing I want to do at least five so I've got the bicone and around and bicone and around. Well, this is always so much easier when you're not looking through the camera. And another bicone. And the reason I'm using more bicone beads than round ones is because I have more bicones. So there's a total of five. And you can use any bead for this. I just had these in my stash and I really want to use up some of the stash because my craft room is packed. Okay, um, now I'm going to do a red and I'm going to put this needle through the top of the star. And I'm going to try and go gently with this so that it doesn't knot up because that's going to drive me insane. So there's your first one. Now I'm going to put five more beads and I'm going to do white and then I'm going to put five more beads and I'm going to do blue and I'm going to continue and I'll be back. Okay. I got everything strung and now for the very last, at the very end, I'm going to tie another loop and these are never easy to do.
and I'm going to do my best to wiggle that knot down. And before I tighten it all up, I'm going to put a little dab of glue on it, the same as I did in the beginning. I wish I could have gotten that knot a little closer to the bead, but I didn't. And there it is. Ready to be hung up. I really wish I had a Christmas tree to put this on. I could just make several of these and they'd be perfect. Um, I actually had to open both packages because I needed one more red, so I took it out of there. But I have lots left over for another project I have in mind. But there is your patriotic garland. Nice and sparkly. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.